boy Corey here, aka Crasher, back with a new video, and ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be the second video today involving Pokemon Unite. Now, this is going to be a news slash detailed discussion in regards to the news drop that was taking place today, and there's quite a lot to go through, so let's get started with this. The Pokemon Unite news drop has been released. We're currently compiling all the details, so be sure to keep checking back. The game shall be released in July on Nintendo Switch. There will be a network test for the Nintendo Switch version in Japan on June 24th through June 26th, 2021. The mobile version will be released in September. We have added multiple direct feed images to our pre-release screenshot page. Files change depending on the stage, such as one goal in Jevry City and a one-way movement in Zephio Park. You can obtain items in shops using paid ASO gems or items found by playing the game. ASO coins and ASO tickets. These can be used to obtain Unite licenses to get Pokemon for Unite battles. There is a seasonal battle pass that has rewards for leveling up by completing missions. You can even upgrade the battle pass with paid gems. Pokemon have various costumes you can get known as Hollow Wear, which dresses your Pokemon in a variety of outfits. You can also customize your trainer's appearance. Pokemon Unite is crossplay, and you do not require a Nintendo Switch Online subscription to play. It also includes a native voice chat option on both platforms, a friends list, and a native text slash stamp chat. If you log in to Pokemon Unite using a Nintendo account or Pokemon Trainer Club account, you can play with the same account on either device and content purchased with gems will carry over between them, but purchased gems will not carry over between devices. Blastoise and Gardevoir will be added at a later point while the rest are at launch. Added a new available Pokemon section, which will have full details added at launch. Created a new page on all known Hollowware. Created a page on the gameplay mechanics. So as of me recording this video, these are the Pokemon that are currently available. We have Venusaur, Charizard, Pikachu, Alolan Ninetales, Wigglytuff, Machamp, Slowbro, Gengar, Mr. Mime, Snorlax, Absol, Garchomp, Lucario, Crustle, Greninja, Talonflame, Cinderace, Eldegoss, and Cramorant. And we can also see in the other categories as well, we have ourselves Difficulty, Style, and Roll. And here is currently a list of all Hollow Wear. We have ourselves Beach Style Venusaur, Hip Hop Style Pikachu, Beach Style Machamp, Magician Style Mr. Mime, Beach Style Snorlax, Beach Style Garchomp, Hero Style Greninja, Pilot Style Talonflame, Captain Style Cinderace. All of these, I'm not gonna lie, look pretty freaking sweet. Now let's quickly touch base on Pokemon Unite mechanics. We have ourselves Score. Unlike other games in similar genres, the objective here isn't to defeat your opposing team by KOing them, but rather by score. To get points, you need to take out wild Pokemon or other players and collect special balls for doing so. You then need to take the ball to one of the goals and successfully put the balls in the goal. The more you have, the longer it takes and you're vulnerable to attack when you do so. Next is leveling up. When you start a match, your Pokemon is sent to its lowest evolution and you are level 1. As you battle through and KO other opponents and wild Pokemon, you will level up. As you level up, you will gain access to more moves and even evolve. So currently, those are all the details of the game revealed, and I have to say, this does get my juices flowing. I am pretty excited to at least try this game out. It looks like it is going to be loads of fun, despite the fact that the initial reveal last summer made this game get a lot of hate, and understandably so. Now, I have to say, when it comes to the Hollowware that you can get for your Pokemon, that right there actually is really freaking cool, because it gives those Pokemon a more personalized feel and I gotta say that actually flows very well with me in my humble opinion. Now I'm hoping that we can get the Hollowware free in some way shape and form rather than having to sink money in the game in order to get them. I hope there is a free to play method 
for each of the factors when it comes to this game because I really don't want this to be a second Pokemon Go where it's more anti-consumer than it is free to play. Now the list of Pokemon that we had seen here in this video seems pretty shallow so I'm really hoping that as time goes on, we will have some type of special events, special releases that will allow for new Pokemon to be added into this game. Two Pokemon, no, three Pokemon in particular that I would love to see get an addition here in this game would be Metagross, Incineroar, and Golisopod. I would flip out if that actually took place in the future of Pokemon Unite. But what are your guys' thoughts and opinions about Pokemon Unite as far as today's news drop goes? Does this information get you more excited to at least try Pokemon Unite? Or are you guys still kind of eh about this game? Let me know in the comments down below, guys. You know I always love to hear you guys out on what it is you have to say when it comes to these type of videos. And ladies and gentlemen, with all that being said, that's going to be a wrap up here for this video. So I say thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, you know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe, and most importantly, guys, smash it up in the comments down below. Because I love, love, love hearing from you guys. Always have, always will. They never going to change, baby. You can believe that. Woo! So thank you guys again for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day or night, depending on your time zone. And as always, your boy will see you guys in the next one.